As we get deeper into the winter months and concerns over a triple demic of COVID-19, the flu and RSV, you and your health professionals now have more information to help guard against the spread of diseases. And as last Tuesday's reporter Greg Fox explains, the state's COVID data dashboard is now providing even more frequent and detailed information after the settlement of a lawsuit. Democratic former state representative Carlos Guillermo Smith was the plaintiff, suing because he thought the state's pullback on data distribution handicapped school districts and shielded public records. When the DeSantis administration refused to release these public records after our lawful public records request, they were breaking the law. It is really, really important for our government, particularly the Department of Health, to be open and transparent about public health. The COVID-19 health data is not only being provided on a weekly basis again, it also is providing much more detailed demographic data. Let me show you. First, you click on the charts dashboard and you can see right across the top here, you can look up information by race, by ethnicity, by sex, and by age. And then you can also go county by county to find out about COVID cases where you are or where you may be traveling. Hospitals and doctors call it indispensable information that helps them to advise patients on the best possible care. More information is better. It's always going to be better. Dr. Matt Seibel is a local physician and says it's important for people in high-risk health groups to be able to access more detailed data so we're all safer. And that way I can make good choices about where I want to go and what kind of personal protective devices I'm choosing to use. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West Chief.